Recently, thousands of Kiwis turned out for this year's Armageddon Expo in Wellington to meet and greet with some of the biggest names and heroes in TV, sci-fi, gaming, comic books and cosplay. <laughs> and if you were wondering what cosplay is all about, our roving reporter Moira went to find out more from one of the world's biggest cosplay stars, Jessica Nigiri, who has millions of followers. Take a look. Cosplay is costume play. It's, a, uh, it's a, an art form that's come from Japan where people take anime, video games, and movies, and become the characters from those games, movies, and anime, be it by purchasing a costume to dress up as the character or creating the costume themselves to become the character. It's becoming what you love and embodying something that is of fiction. Before cosplay, I had a really hard time kind of talking to people and everything, but with a cosplay, you can put on a costume from a character of something that you love, and you can immediately connect with other people that like that thing, and so it's an immediate connection with human beings. In the cosplay we all know as Shug Queen, um, and I'm cosplaying Elizabeth Comstock from Bioshock Infinite. Cosplay is like a way that I can get my creative side and something that I'm really passionate about in a weird way all together in one. This is actually my first year cosplaying, and I just really love Star Wars and wanting to make like I make a lot of props and costumes and things. So um, this is the first attempt at just a Sith. I started in the last time again in October. Loved it so much. I had a few things left over from that cosplay and I bought this one to just because I enjoyed it so much. I'm really passionate about cosplay, just making your own things. I love Sansa because she is one of the most uh, inspiring characters I think on TV right now. She's really, really cool. To me it's more the challenge of actually being able to make something. So taking something, say from Skyrim, which is a completely digital world and then trying to make it into something that works as a wearable piece. I built my first bat suit as a Halloween costume and it just sort of got out of hand from there and I've ended up doing visits to children's hospitals and lots of charity collections and things. So um, again, it's just a good opportunity to get out and get dressed up. This is four years worth of work. The helmet took a year. The rest of it I did over the next two years and then another year for painting and robotics. It's like a liberating kind of experience yeah. to dress up and be someone else for the day. And yeah, it's just, <laughs> the attention is nice. <laughs> yeah. Like it's actually really fun, like knowing the people appreciate your costumes. And I think as well when it's kids and they recognize characters from like movies and things, they get really excited. It's really cool seeing that look on their face. So it's actually quite fun for me. Mainly I dress up in cosplay to meet people because there's a lot of like nerds and stuff and as soon as they see your cosplay they're like hey and it's like sweet you've got that automatic connection with them. For me it just gives me an opportunity to be a character I've always wanted to be, meet new people and just have fun with it and meet idiots like this guy. <laughs> it's the first time I've dressed start and I was a little bit nervous because my sewing's not wonderful um, but when you get in with everybody else walking around you stop noticing and, and you I kind of feel like part of the crowd, it's really good. Awesome, so welcome to the 2018 Wellington Cosplay. We really love video games and often our costumes are based on video games and one that we really love are the Borderlands games and Telltale games and the two companies did one together which means that we could actually make the characters and because we like to go up and above props we decided to make a working robot so she actually moves on her own on the ground and talks as well. I have already got plans for my Auckland piece which I'm hoping I can pull off but it's going to be completely different from this one. It's it's less cartoony. <laughs> Advice for people getting into cosplay. Never listen to what the internet says about negative stuff, because the internet can be so mean. Always enjoy yourself, do it for the right reasons. Um, on YouTube, there are many amazing tutorials that other cosplayers have already created and provided for you. So if you're wondering about a costume and how to make it, there's probably been someone else online who's done it before. Um, always ask other cosplayers, make friends with everybody, and just have a really good time. Well, congratulations to those Kiwi cosplay competitors. It looked like a heap of fun, yeah, actually. Yeah, it's always always a great event too, and like a lot of fun. Up. Yeah, the cosplay. That's our next Friday. Night.